Many of the procedures that we're talking about here are detailed in the chemical hygiene plan. And this is a binder that should be present in every laboratory on campus. So if you ever have questions about proper procedures, standard operating procedures for the campus, you can consult this binder. Uh, it'll have all the information that we're discussing here, things like personal protective equipment, like I'm wearing now, as well as proper chemical storage, which I will also be talking about. Uh, you can really summarize the procedures in this plan as protecting people from chemical hazards. And those hazards fall into two main classes. There are health hazards. Those are things that are toxic, things that could make you sick. And then there are physical hazards, which are things like flammable chemicals, explosive chemicals. So we deal with both of those in different ways. We deal with health hazards primarily by preventing those chemicals from entering our bodies. And that's why we wear personal protective equipment. We want to prevent chemicals from being absorbed through our skin and from getting into our eyes. And the other way that we protect against those hazards is through the use of things like this fume hood. So anytime you have a chemical that has the potential of giving off fumes, you can work with it in the hood. If you ever any, have any doubts about whether the chemical should be used in the hood or not, you should use it in the hood. We have plenty of hoods available, so it's always a good idea. A uh, few things with these hoods to keep them functioning optimally. You can't lift up the sash too high, so the sash here is the glass window. There's a marking along the side that gives the maximum height which the sash can be lifted. Uh, other things about the hood, you don't want to have too many things on the floor of the hood because uh, you disturb the airflow. So you need proper airflow coming through the hood and exhausting to the outside. And if you put too many things in there, the hood is crowded. Uh, that's not going to work properly. So keep the hoods clear, only have the things in there that you need for what you're working on at that time. 